What's that number here? It's 69. Major, Major, hey, you haven't told me who I'm wrestling tonight. Dak, after the past week of mediations and me getting yelled at by you and your little ambulance chasing dog attorney, and the fact that I currently have a match in about two hours where if I lose, or my team loses, I'm losing control of the entire TV show, and you think that I am somehow worrying about you and your little title match? Yeah, I'm the most important part of the NWL. I'm the NWL champion, so yeah, I would think that you'd be worrying about me this week. You know, I'm so glad that I don't have to worry about you in that five-on-five -five match because you are the most selfish individual in this entire company. I do not care who you're facing tonight. I have better, bigger things to worry about. Do you understand? You know what? You'd be selfish if you were like me, too. So I'll pick out my own opponent. I don't care what you do. Go awesome. away. Please. Shame on you. What a surprise, Marty. Dag Draper has yet another problem that he feels he needs to go to President Major Baisden for. He says he doesn't have an opponent for tonight. Major Baisden's got bigger fish to fry, quite frankly. I feel like all that Dag Draper does is complain. Whether it's calling his lawyer, trying to walk into Major's office, there are bigger issues here. And, and I'm frankly, I'm tired of Dad Draper. Absolutely. I'm Ben Miller. And I'm Marty Bell. We've got a great hour of pro wrestling lined up for you, especially starting off with the first match. Dad Draper gets his wish with the Dad Draper Dreams Come True Challenge. We don't know who he's going to face just yet. In our second match of the evening, Jet Royal of the Royal Blood faces the King of Karma, Ken Dharma. And in our main event, Gregory James, the newcomer, takes on the Raging Bull. All right, Marty, let's talk about the Dag Draper Dreams Come True Challenge. It's back because he demanded it. He wants it. He wants time on the show, of course. So now he gets it, and the Dreams Come True Challenge is back. One thing I will say is that we have had a lot of incredible opponents come through the doors for the Dag Draper Dreams Come True Challenge, like Jeff Cobb and Martin Casale, just to name two of them. And I'm really excited to see who's going to answer the challenge and hopefully, once and for all, shut the challenge down. Here's to hope. Let's get down to ringside and see who it is. I am Dak Draper, the Mile High Magnum. I am six foot five, 250 pounds. Amateur wrestling background, devastatingly handsome, everything it takes to be an NWL champion. If you didn't already know that, then shame on you. Dak Draper is making his way to the ring with yet another edition of the Dreams Come True. Again, this man, this man has been so great, allowing just nobodies to have a chance to reach greatness by allowing them to even to step into the ring and try to win the NWL Championship. You don't give this man, this charitable man, enough credit, man. guy is so full of himself. Look at all the signs in the front row speak loudly. Hey, the fans here think truly Dak is whack. Why did they do this man? I don't understand why this ever happens. This is what everybody wants to be. Champion tall, dark, handsome. That's Please horrible. Stop it. No, You're making fun of our great I'm fans. I'm making here. fun of all of them, yes. Dak should too. Dak is whack. Dak is whack. All right, you all done me the best of me, so 
like to talk? Dak just wants to be heard as usual. This is our champion? I want you to raise your hand if you've ever had a job before. Not a lot of hands raised. Yeah, not a lot of hands. That seems about right for Kansas City. No, it's great minds think alike. But when so people cool. have jobs, they have certain responsibilities, certain obligations they have to fulfill. Like Dak Draper's job is to be the NWL champion. Well, as the president of the National Wrestling League, Major Basin's number one job, his main priority, is to find a credible opponent for Dak Draper, the champion, to wrestle at every NWL event. That's not necessarily so his only job. No, I wasn't disgusted. Imagine my horror when I arrived here in Overland Park today to find out that Major Mason didn't have an opponent in mind for me. He's, he's too concerned with some five-on-five dance-off or something later on. Dance-off. He knows exactly but the stake of the company. don't worry, because Dak Draper has gone out and found his own opponent because tonight is the return, the night you've all been waiting for, of the Dak Draper Dreams Come True Challenge, where I give one lucky local resident a chance to test themselves against the Mile High Magnum, the name that brings the shame, the Denver Don Juan, the Colorado Casanova, the first, the longest reigning, and most importantly, the greatest. NWL champion of all time, Dakota Draper. How many monikers can Great. one man have? Wait, has has this man has Shane Sanders answered the challenge of the Dak Draper dreams come true? Look at it is it's it's blue collar tough. Shane Sanders. He's definitely blue collar trash, that's for sure. And he's going to get in the ring with the guy wearing the white, very classy white trunks, and he's going to get put to school real quick. Jade Sanders double tough, especially I mean, he's, he's proven himself time and time again across independent organizations in the Midwest, and now he's here to challenge Dag Draper for that NWL championship. Man, talk about this is worse than Apollo Creed giving Rocky a shot. I am Marty Bell. For a while, I traded my wrestling boots for a microphone, and now, it's time to pick up where I left off in the squared circle. I was a knockout before joining the NWL, and now it's time to KO the competition in the Midwest. The NWL is brought to you by Mr. Plumber, Inc. You can put your trust in Mr. Plumber for all your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. Our skilled technicians provide unparalleled service, competitive prices, and exceptional quality. Call Mr. Plumber today at 913-238-1498. And by Champion Tattoo and Piercing, Johnson County's premier custom tattooing and piercing studio. Stop by the shop located at 1016 East Santa Fe in Olathe, Kansas. I mean, the, the odds are here, this whole microscopic, that Shane Sanders should even uh, get in an offensive maneuver against Dak. There's that beautiful NWO championship held high by Dak Draper. The NWL championship. Midnight Guthrie, does he do his job right ever? There it is, the NWL Championship. Can you believe that Shane Sanders, this is well, comical that he has he, a probably, he has a chance of, of pulling the biggest upset here in the NWL, and if, that, if anybody can do it, it's that big strappy guy, Shane Sanders. You know, Buster Douglas is like, you know what, you have no shot, kid. Reference. I, I got it. I'm not acknowledging it. Oh, Come 
on, Dak. Look at Dak Ritchie oh, pulling that it. neck and shoulder, the trapezius muscle, pulling that real tight by Ritchie on the neck and the arm. Shane Sanders needs to find a rope to make sure he breaks that hole. You know, some people might be like, oh, you know, Shane Sanders very brave to go in there and do this. I call it stupid. So, like, Dak, put this stupid guy, put him out to pasture. Let's go. Oh, nice, what? nice suplex, gets a two kill. Oh gosh, he just got elbowed right in the back of the head, and that could have been a knockout blow. And Dak Draper hoists him up, mile high, Dr. Bob. It's over. Doesn't even sit out for it, two and three. Yeah. It is academic from that point on. Dak Draper remains undefeated. NWL champion Dak Draper backs up another victory. They said it couldn't be done. Building a professional wrestling company from scratch. A new direction, new names, new faces. But we heard you. You missed the stories, the characters, the fun that you once had. We are bringing back what made you a fan so you can believe all over again. This is the NWL. This is the Faces of Fear, Ming Barbarian. That's right. Yes. And let me tell you something, we're right here. Look at that. It's all about NWL. NWL is it? And be here to listen to it. NWL! Welcome into another edition of NWL TV. I'm Ken Miller, sitting here with Ryan McGillicuddy, and there's the most flexible <laughs> athlete in the NWL, Ken Darwin. Is she flexible or most genuine, loving hearted guy that Introducing you know? Introducing first, he prefers to reside on a higher plane, weighing 169 pounds. The most flexible wrestler in the world today. This is High on Life, Ken Dharma. I love this guy's entrance. Every time he comes in, does something different, so creative. Look at that. You can't do any of this, Ben. You can uh, barely I, get up out of bed, let alone do any of these moves. Hey, relax. I can get out of bed just fine. Right. I, just, I can't do any of the fancy stuff that this guy does. Well, one thing's for sure, he's made his match here tonight against Jet of the Royal Blood, and here comes Jet all fired up and ready to go. And his opponent, from Lee's Summit, Missouri, weighing 180 pounds, he is one half of the Royal Blood, this is Jet Royal. Pretty boys, like Jax is out with the knee injury, but Jet continues to go up the single ranks. But I, you know, this is a perfect match today because I'm going to get to see Ken Dharma slap the spit out of the mouth of this kid, this little pretty boy Barbie doll, Jet Royal. Are you kidding me? Come on, make quick work. Oh, look at that! Looks like Dharma starting off with a bang here. Carpets over the ducky, Jet Royal, Jet Royal up and over. Dharma threw his legs with the roll. Look at this. This is actually wow. starting off on this week's edition of NWL TV. And there's a drop kick from Jet Royal right to the chest of High on Life Ken Dharma. What a sequence Man. that was. <laughs> Highlighted by a drop kick by Jet. But come on, Ken, get up. Shake it off. You're okay. There's Jet showing off that fantastic. Both of these men are in great shape. Finely tuned athletes. I mean, especially Ken Dharma. I mean, he, he's yoga. a practitioner of Hot yoga. yoga. You know, Bikram Yoga, right? Isn't that what they call it? You go there. Yeah, I go there. I mean, it's every Tuesday, Thursday, you. and Sunday. I'm uh, very flexible. That's the midsection. You were calling this guy genuine earlier. There is nothing genuine about Ken Dharma. Everything he does, he's like a snake. He's cold and he's calculated. Look at that. And he breaks the rules whenever he gets the chance. Okay, some people think he's a little swarmy. 
maybe a little, I don't know, sketchy, slimy, whatever word you want to use, but that's not true at all. I mean, the, the fact is these guys come to the ring and they do horrible things to him and he just, he tries to take it and see the enlightened side of life. Oh, look at that. Thrust kick to the midsection, doubles over Kid Jarma. Oh, kicks him right in between the shoulder blades. I'm sorry you live in a cynical world, but you can't see that he's trying to be a good man in this world. Come on, get up! Jet Will, he gets a two count there. What a crowd we have tonight here in Overland Park, Kansas. Fans, if you want to be a part of this, the revolution that's sweeping the Midwest, the NWL, go to nwleague.com and get your tickets now for the next time we're in your air. Oh, look at that. Oh, Speaking yeah. of bad knees, I mean, Jet may be following his brother here if he tears that knee. Oh, oh look at that drop kick right on that left knee. And yes, he may be in the emergency room just like his brother. I am Jeremy Wyatt. And I am Michael Strider. Together, we have been the foundation of Midwest wrestling for nearly 20 years. Whether it's collecting belts and stealing shows, or whether it's our hard-earned blood, sweat, and tears, we will show the NWL that we will continue writing wrestling history for yet another generation. The NWL is brought to you by Flying Monkey Beer, doing things that are fun with people who are cool since 1996. And by The Windy Wine Company, fun wines, good times. Also by Local Pig, located just east of City Market, a whole animal butcher shop featuring locally sourced animals raised outdoors with no hormones or antibiotics. Capacity crowd here tonight, Overland Park. It's like the reverse Molina exit there. Look at that. Come on, like finish him off out there, throw him back in and pin him. Let's get this over. That's four on strike to the cheek and make that two. Jed Will trying to fight back the advances of Kid Dharma, and he just draped that leg, or he just threw it actually right in that security railing. Could have really blown out that left knee. And look at this, but he's oh, smart. This gosh, is what you should one. be doing, attacking that, that body part that is in pain, which is that left knee. And look, he's going after it like a shark and blood. I hear the crowd solidly behind Jet Royal. Obviously, I mean, Kid, although you think Kid Dharma is very uh, likable, I don't think much of the, many of the people in the crowd here care for the, uh, the antics or the yeah, style of high. People just don't understand, uh, you know, a real person when they see one in today's world. I get it. Look at that big forearm shot by Jet. Come on! Jet Royal fighting his way back. Kid Dharma's on wobbly legs here. Keep trying, Jet Royal. Dharma flips oh. out of it and flips the knee. Once again, goes back to work. On that leg of Jet Royal. Look at that. He's, he, he hurt his mouth, but I think he's going to be okay. Come on. Uh, look, look, at look at this. Submission. Here we go. He rolls him over. Here's that modified pinny combination oh. that Dharma has used in victory. Almost got a three count there. Big chin in perfect position. Shut up. I know what you're going to say. Never is. You can never count the three, this guy. I don't know why he's still on the payroll. Come on, kid. Look at Dharma doing his namaste pose, making, making sure everybody knows what, that he's in control of this match. Oh, gosh, did you hear that? Kick Jet Royal's leg out from underneath him, and he did a complete 360. Just because he attacks, look at that. He's looking at that, just throwing the sweat off those ripped abs. And just because he attacks guys after doing the namaste pose does not mean he's a bad guy. It really doesn't. It just means he doesn't practice what he preaches. I get it. Well, it's, and you're supposed to go after your opponent. What are you supposed to do? Not when you're about peace and love. Then and why are you even in wrestling? I don't know. Ask him. Well, he loves it. Sorry, people can have different sports. It's supposed to be open-minded in 2017, man. Emotion. I am. Come on. Tap out. Tap, tap, Oh, look tap. at that. Nice move by Jet Will, taking out that arm that was bridging up to put that applied, that added pressure onto the legs of Jet Royal. Jet Royal continuing to kick and fight his way out of this. 
does get me emotional when someone tries to be a real genuine person and then they continue to get attacked by people that are just cynical, like non-yoga loving people. That's what it is. Never expected you to love yoga as much as you do. It's blowing me away. Well, look, I, look I, I, sometimes some people say I don't change my mind a lot. I'm, I'm you know, stuck in my ways, but this guy has showed me the light. Looks like the stars on his back. I followed that bright light into the, the, the hot yoga. He's yeah, changed my life. It's like those DDP okay, videos. Okay, it's got like it. those DDP motivational videos. It's, I should have made one of myself. Come on. Now look at Jen Wood, precarious position. And Ken Dharma, no one home on that maneuver. He I don't know what he was trying to do to Jen Wood there, but nobody home. And Kim Dharma spills to the outside. Now keep your eyes on Jet Royal, one of the best high flyers in the NWL. And he flips over and catches him with the heel of his boot right to the top of the head. Come on, Ken. You got to be careful. Of course, both these guys high flyers, but nobody is a better high flyer than Jet Royal or either of the Royal brothers. So you always have to be paying attention to what's going on there. What's this? We're still hoping for Jack's will to come back real soon. We still haven't heard a timetable. He was the best in his recovery. Look at that. Jared Will's knee may have gave out there. Keep your eyes on him. He did it, though. Tope Suicida lands on Ken Dharma. Well, look at that. You saw Jared Will limping across the ring, not exactly sprinting like normal. Not as much velocity on that Tope Suicida because of the damage that has been done to the knee by Ken Dharma. Now he's rolling Dharma back into the ring. He's got to pick up a victory here. Going for a cover up. every Nick Chin. Oh, it's a two count. And definitely the damage has been done to that left knee. Look, he continues to hold it. And if you can take that out, he's probably not going to be able to do any of his, you know, his shooting star presses, anything from the top. Of the oh, point. look at that. That knee just gave out to Dharma. Kind of collapses on top of him. Jed Royal might be seriously injured here. He, he needs to stop doing those high flying moves. That's just going to injure his knee more. Man, yeah, I don't mean to tell the guy what to do. Hey, don't, don't get close to that video board, oh. guys. What are they doing? People work very hard on that video oh. board. And Asai Mutsal takes out Ken Dharma. Off the stage here at Abdullah Shrine. What's he going to do now? Rolling Ken Dharma back into the ring. Jet Royal going to the high rent district here. I wonder if he's going to go for that shooting star press Can he after do it? landing that moonsault off the stage. If he connects with this, it is lights out for Ken Dharma. Oh, he's going, like he's going for a 450. Dharma rolls out of the way. Still holding that left knee. Oh, there it is again, kicking that That's heel just smart. Up underneath him. Dharma sets him up. Keep your eyes on Dharma. Oh, nice tuck in. Nice. Moonsault. Going for a cover. This should be it. Oh, oh, man. How did he kick out of that? How did he have the strength to kick out of that after he... Oh, that leg is completely given up. You've taken out most of the offense of Jet Royal at this point. Shut up. Great crowd here at Overland Park. I'm so impressed. Every time we come to a different town. Oh, oh he kicked him right under the chin. After Dharma was showing some of his athletic ability by springing back into the ring, and he paid for it when Jet Royal caught him right underneath the chin. What is this? Both of them writhing around in pain. Jet Royal going to the far corner there. Jet Royal, what Get is up, he doing Dharma. here? Could he hit that 450 or that patented shooting star press? And Jet Royal's up to, or excuse me, Dharma is up to meet Jet Royal. Cut him off at the pass. Total play and possum there by Dharma. And now he's going to end it with a superplex. Dharma hooking him in. Come on. Trying to get him up and over. And Jet up. Royal keeping the, putting the brakes on. Jet Royal hammering in the midsection. Both men jockeying for position on the top rope. Jet Royal picks him up, face monster, off that top rope. And Dharma's reaching for the heavens at this point. Shooting star press connects one, two, and three, and that's it. Jet Royal picks up the victory over Kent Dharma. Jet What a great opening contest on NWL TV. How did that happen? He had his left.
Bobby Energy, passing the game, goes into this match. He ends up having another spring in the end. Then that shooting star press, that's exactly what Dern was trying to get away from, from attacking that left knee. And in the end, that's what takes him out. What an incredible match we just saw between High on Life Ken Dharma and Jet Royal. Two of the best high flyers in the NWL. Jet Royal continues his winning ways here in the NWL. Now let's throw it to Marty Bell for this week's NWL update. Marty. Thank you, Ben. This is Marty with this week's NWL update. The NWL is taking over the Midwest and we want you to be part of it. Head over to nwleague.com and pick up tickets today. The enemy wall made a stop in St. Joe. Thor Terrio took on Leo Howard of the Howlers. And while this is a battle that NW wall will not forget anytime soon, we did see Leo pick up a victory. But it does make me wonder, will things fare the same when one is on Team Bazin and one is on Team Jackson? You'll see that battle in two weeks. Make sure you guys stay tuned. That's all I've got for today. Make sure you guys head over to nwleague.com. It's the connoisseur, Niles Plonquet, and I'm here in Osborne, Missouri at the Windy Wine Company. The Windy Wine Company is a sponsor for the National Wrestling League, so I figured what better person to come out and review the Windy Wine Company than the connoisseur, Niles Plonquet. Nestled in Northwest Missouri on a Missouri Century Plum Belvedere, keep up. Nestled here in Northwest Missouri on a Missouri Century farm, the Windy Wine Company continues to produce wines at a surprising rate, almost comparable to Napa, although they're not Napa, I'm sure of it. Let's go find out what else they're doing here. Belvedere, is this rolling? Uh, are we rolling? Okay. Despite being in Missouri, the Windy Wine Company actually utilizes some pretty impressive state-of-the-art technology and equipment for their wine production. Belvedere, you better edit this, right? You can edit this? Oh, no, 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 no. Belvedere will not be sampling today. But I will try your best red, something that signifies what Windy Wine Company truly is. You know, um, with all the cattle around here and that smell, the ambient lighting that's not quite there, this is a far cry from Napa. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to have to pass today. You can go ahead and turn this off, Belvedere. Go ahead, thank you. I'll take a half a case of this. So this concludes my review of the Windy Wine Company here in Osborne, Missouri. And Planquet is going to give it a review. A nice, sophisticated... That's not sophisticated. A sophisticated four out of five bottle review. Um, I won't be taking it home today and I will go home and enjoy some Napa wine. However, Windy Wine Company, certainly, you're on your way to class. Cut velvet here. Come on, let's go. I am Jack Foster. And I am pro wrestling. I dedicated my life to this sport, but the sport I fell in love with faded away a long time ago. I've come to the NWL to try and resurrect something very special to me. This is not pro wrestling. Jack Foster is pro wrestling. It is time for our main event. Gregory James, his second time in the NWL, is facing the Raging Bull Maverick, the now titleless Raging Bull. 
If there was ever a time where that name fit Maverick, it is now. As we've told you guys before, the NWO live events, well, Anything can, Anything can happen. Make sure you guys go to nwleague.com and pick up tickets for these events because something like this, a title change, can happen. That happened at our O'Fallon show very recently. We know that the rage is still within Maverick. Gary J has a big target on his back, and Gregory James, good luck to you, brother. We'll see, we'll see if he can pick up a win here tonight. Let's get down to ringside. All right, here we go, Ryan. Another stellar matchup here on NWL TV. The former NWL STL champion, the Ranger Bowl Maverick, is here. He looks mad. He is, as you can see, no championship belt around his waist. That's because somehow, some way, in O'Fallon, Missouri, Gary J defeated Maverick. Now, obviously. Might be hit twice. Whatever the saying is, man. I, I don't know how that happened. Gary J is the size of my pinky. This is the Raging Bull. Man, get so tired of you running over the Midnight Guthrie. You just let the man talk. You know the best part of Midnight Guthrie's career here has been his attack and that dog collar match by Jeremy White. Shut up, Maverick's Maverick. gonna talk. Maverick is looking like he's, yeah, he's got a lot to say. He's got a lot on his mind, but I guess before Maverick can get a word out, here Watch comes him. newcomer to the NWL, Gregory James, who's cutting off Maverick. Are you kidding me? Is this guy have a death wish? Gregory James is not one to, doesn't want Maverick to say anything. He wants the action. He wants the he wants the combat right here, right now. That's why his people are flocking to the NWL. Coming inside the insidious follower from the dark side of the booths. This is the unholy Gregory James. Why is Cobra Commander in the ring? That's not Cobra Commander. That's his, that's his partner, his, uh, his ballet, if you will. I believe it's him. Gregory J. Well, they both they both have a death wish, and they want to come out here and interrupt Maverick before he was going. He's going to talk to this crowd and let it, and give everyone a piece of his mind. It, this guy's crazy. The raging bull, Maverick. Look at him. He is just so intense, so angry, especially even more so after losing that coveted title to hashtag the Gary J. Movement is sweeping the NWL. Where's your title? Oh, come on, this crowd is horrible. You want to make him more mad? Gregory James should be taunting this on because he's just going to get more and more mad. Crowd chanting, where's your title? Rubbing it in the face of the raging bull. This is, I, I do not envy Gregory James in this position. I mean, I expect the raging bull to make short work of Gregory James here tonight. I mean, he is, uh, he's almost an unstoppable force in this match. Yeah. I mean, the brutality of the match that Maverick always has, but then the match that he had with Gary J was off the charts. I mean, a lot of stuff going on there. Anarchy rules, they called it. And, you know, obviously, weapons, everything used, guardrails, chairs, and somehow, some way, Gary J ended up on top, and he took that title that Maverick had for so many months away from him. Like you said, now everyone else is going to pay for that. We are ready for wrestling history to take place. The NWL is the future. And the future is now. Here comes the Royal Floyd. Wow. Double toe play. Power bomb. And he just power bombed him on those steel taps. We got your attention yet. Say that about Maverick. He's definitely a real athlete. He's been the greatest athlete in the locker room. Him, Dak Draper. There's a lot of guys back there that can snap people neck just like this. Look at him. He has him in that cross base. Gregory James was going for a head scissors takeover. Unfortunately, did not lock his legs around the neck. The brawny neck and shoulders of Maverick. And this is how he's paying for it with a vicious cross face. He's made the ropes now. Maverick has four sides. 
He, he broke, he broke. And you know Maverick is going to use every single second of that 5K. Sure. Sure, as, as he should. And look at Gregory. I don't know if Gregory James is going to get into today. He signed on the contract. He wants to make a name for himself. That's good. That's good. A lot of athletes in the NWL trying to pick up a big one. Beautiful arm drag. Deep arm drag by Gregory James with the hip toss. And he connects. Gregory James is fearless. This is his second appearance with us here in the NWL. That, missing that springboard moonsault. What's this? Why does he put his hand up? What's this? Proven that several times in this match already. He's crazy for signing on a match with this guy. Nice knife edge chop. He may not want to throw blows though with somebody like that. No, definitely not. I mean, Maverick gets, if he gets any momentum going, Gregory James is going to be a pile of trouble there. Oh, vicious kick to the back of the head. Now, what is he doing? Grabbing the head of Maverick off that turnbuckle. Even the fans are proving to do it again. What if, though, Ryan, what if this guy, Gregory James, could come out of nowhere and, and get a victory over somebody like the Raging Bull? Oh, gosh! Oh. Get rid of the his back, the back of his head, his entire back, against that steel post. Oh, I've got a headache just, just seeing that. Did you hear that thought? Gregory James oh, has ask. just been taken out by Matt. You're going to ask him, what if, what if, Gregory James get decapacitated here? Oh! And another shot off that guardrail. Yeah, get, get him rid of the pit. Oh, we saw this in Old Fallon. He almost ended the career of Gary J by attempting a powerbombing on that exposed Do it. floor. Do it. What is this? Look at his, 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 his partner is hungry. Gregory James. Oh, shit, that person better head for higher ground. Cobra Commander. That was her Cobra. name. Really big in the 80s she was. Oh, gosh, and there's one of those patented knife edge chops just cleaving the, the skin off of Gregory James's chest. Now, unlike in O'Fallon, Missouri, this is not a Anarchy Rules Master. He will be counted out. He's out there. You saw him stop right down. Now getting Gregory James back in here. We'll see what happens. Look, he is. this is where he's in deep trouble now. This is where Maverick goes to work, sizing him up. It's over. Can you imagine what Gary J must be thinking of Gary J's a lot like Gregory James. I don't think he cares. That's he, he's crazy or stupid or both. Look at Gregory James. Wow, Springboard. This is that moonsault at the back elbow. A pump thrust kick knocks Gregory James off his feet. Just folding him up there. Boy for a cover, too. Oh. I don't know if the crowd knew what to make of Gregory James when he first came out here. But they're definitely starting to get behind the wild man here. So would you get behind that? Whatever that is, the ant woman, whatever she is. Come on, shut up, this crowd's horrible. Get a Maverick. And here he comes. The stampede. Those forearms, shoulder strikes, chops. Anything he can do to inflict punishment, that's what the Raging Bull does. Oh, gosh! Larian took it right out of his boots. Over. This should be it, too. And oh! Gregory James at the last second kicks out. Look how mad Maverick is. Staring down referee Adam Kennedy. Can't believe he didn't get a three there. I cannot believe that Gregory James kicked out of that vicious lariat. I mean, this kid is showing a lot of heart here tonight. He's definitely taking a lot of punishment so far. He's about to take a lot more, too. You hear the fans reacting to every single shot that has echoed across the chest of Gregory James. Here we go. This. James Wolf's reversal. So he's trying to get an ankle lock or some sort of Picks him up oh. and oh, elevates him. And out of nowhere, Gregory James just 
Spike Maverick with a DDT. Going for a cover, can he? Not just yet, Maverick kicking out. Maverick trying to get the first big win after losing that St. Louis championship to Gary J. And this is where he's going to start stacking it back up because he is, he is needing a rematch very soon. Keep your eye on Gregory James as he gets the momentum going on. He just hit tossed into that turnbuckle. Referee Ab Kennedy almost counted out. Gregory James almost gets a three count. Everything Maverick does now, watching him over the last year in NWL, everything he does has a purpose. Everything he does has a snap to it now. I mean, he really throws around his opponents. Everything, every punch he has has everything into it. He has improved so much, and everyone should love this oh, man. Bouncing his head off the top turnbuckle. Nice back elbow by Gregory James, thrown off the bounce and the momentum of Maverick. Come on, pushing him off with both feet. Gregory James trying to mount some offense here, two hard forearms. Now kicks him in the stomach, kicks him high, and follows it up with a vicious forearm. Momentum going the wrong way now. Oh, oh wow. Reverse backbreaker almost, or excuse me, neck breaker. Going for a cover. Wow. So close, almost picked up the three count. Very close. What are those? What are those line marks on, on, on Gregory James's trunks there? What? What are the? What's that for? How many days he spent years in prison? What is that? I have no idea. I, I should. I should talk to Gregory James. We'll find out what. That's what you're supposed to do. Did you talk to his entire roster before today? That's your job. You're a journalist. I was busy. Doing what? Another thing. Put that video board together. I was listening to Mike Quackenbush. That's what I was doing. Figures. Look at that, go oh. for a roll up. Gregory James rolls through, kicks the foot out from underneath Maverick. Oh, back sent on. Come on, Mav. This isn't looking good. Oh, gosh, jumping knee strike right into the face. Up, Two, no. Gregory James almost pulls off an upset with that jumpy knee strike. Man's been in prison, Mav. Come on, watch out. He has it. Stop it with that. That's what they do. They whittle their bed with lines like that. Count away the decades. How would you know? I've seen Looney Tune commercials, uh, cartoons, whatever. Why does it matter? Because you don't know what you're talking about. I want Maverick to beat this guy. He can't walk into Maverick's home turf and do this to him. Can Gregory James do that? Oh my gosh, cross body block. Maverick oh, says, not in my house. Lifts James up onto his shoulders and spits him out into a sit-out powerbomb, two, two, three, and that's it. Yes. Maverick has put away Gregory oh, James. Yeah. You know, it's not here today. Talk about a true goal missing around because he got beat up by four. Oh, he's at home recuperating. I think he'd be in constant contact with him on Facebook and Twitter. Look at this now. We finally get to hear from Maverick. I do. Talk. Shut up. Soak it up, you're the champ in my book. Man and Gary J that we different opinion. Gary J's drunk somewhere. Can do about it. 
What an honest promo. He's not done. He's not done. Please, someone stop that music. No, 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 no. I'm not done. You cut my music right now. You cut my music. I'm not done. One more thing. One more very, very important thing. Gary J. The next time we're in the same building, you better bring an army. You better bring all the security that you can because I am going to rip you limb from limb. Oh, he's done somebody. Good night. Get me out of here. I got chills. That guy means all business. And if I were Gary J., I would run as far as I can because that man, the raging bull, the son of Texas, Maverick is headed on a collision course for you to get his title back. Why would you ever want to anger this man? I mean, he is out for his championship. Gary J is in big, big trouble.